Jacob, so you've, got, you've got picks too, though. Right. So, although there's been a tremendous uptick in the last quarter in Scottsdale, Phoenix, Las Vegas, Tampa, the markets that got hit the most, those markets still have the most room left to grow in order to get back to where they were in the pre-crash, so 2007 sort of prices. By contrast, sort of Dallas, which has not suffered as much as the rest of the country, is the single market in America today that is closest to its 2007 highs. So I think the Southeast, the, uh, the West, not California, I think California may be approaching close to its 2007 highs, but if you're seeking investment opportunities, if you're looking for growth in the value of your um, real estate, Scottsdale, Phoenix, Las Vegas, Tampa. What, and, and so you would say Florida, because I was sitting yes. at a dinner last night with a, a real estate investor who went down to Florida and bought some properties, and he said basically that he's, he's losing a ton of money. He just, I don't know if it was a timing issue for him, but he just said Florida is not giving him the return he mm. thought it was going to give him. Well, South Florida, I think, is on fire. And we're talking about housing. We're talking about residential housing and condos. Mm -hmm. Commercial real estate, by contrast, what I think of from the investment perspective, right. is still a buy across the country. The commercial real estate market typically lags the home uh, residential real estate market in terms of recovery by two to three years. We're still seeing.